We have a body that's tied to a thread and the thread is going inside the table and it's been pulled with a constant velocity V. We need to find the tension in the thread as a function of distance R between the body and the hole. If initially it is initially it as it is at a distance R naught and the angular velocity initially is given as omega naught. So the thread is going like this in a spiral path and it's uh, the center the thread is being pulled downwards with a constant velocity v. Now first we can conserve angular momentum because tension is always directed towards O. So about O the net torque is zero because R cross T is going to be zero. So tau about O is zero which means L about O is constant. So initially when it is at a distance r naught, our angular momentum is m omega naught r naught square. And when it is at a distance r, let's say the angular velocity is omega, so new angular momentum will be m omega r square. Now we don't know omega. So for that we are going to use f is equal to ma. So what is the acceleration towards center? So because the thread is being pulled it will have a direct acceleration because pulling of the thread and because it is rotating it will have a normal acceleration because of the rotation also. So net acceleration towards center will be d2r by dt square by how fast you are pulling the thread and omega square r because of its rotating motion. Now it's being pulled with a constant velocity v which means dr by dt is constant which means d2r by dt square is zero. So acceleration towards O is given by tension and its value is m into omega square r. Now here let's be very careful I did not write normal acceleration I just wrote acceleration towards O because that acceleration is actually not normal acceleration which we'll see here. So this is just acceleration towards O which is caused by the tension alone and it's given as m omega square r. So now from these two equations we can eliminate omega and we'll get our answer. So why the acceleration towards O is not normal acceleration? It's because the velocity is not perpendicular to this r vector. So in this problem thread or tension is not perpendicular to velocity as trajectory is spiral not circular. So you can see that velocity will be little bit inwards it's not perpendicular. So velocity is always parallel to the trajectory and trajectory is spiral which means velocity is not perpendicular to tension. So A about O is not A n because normal acceleration whenever we say that means the acceleration perpendicular to the direction of velocity. So that is not the case here. So AO is not AN and therefore V is not omega R. And angular momentum about O we can write as m omega R square. This is correct but we cannot write it as mv square by R. So good learnings in this problem especially that the tension here will actually increase the velocity of this of this particle which is quite surprising so normally you think that the tension is towards center so velocity should remain constant but that is not the case